Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading focused on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. This is a time-stamped reading, so you're free to watch the whole thing, or if you're focused more on a masculine or a feminine, totally up to you. General reading, as always, guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from this whatever makes sense for your situation and release the rest. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. And I will include a link to all of the decks that you see here today, Sagittarius. We're going to start off with the Divine Feminine to take a look and see how the Feminine feels or is affected by the overall connection with the Masculine. And it is just energy, guys. So Feminine, Divine Feminine energy could be, of course, for female or male viewers. Take it for how it resonates. And of course, the same applies for the Divine Masculine portion of this reading. So Sagittarius, let's get right into this. Focusing on the Divine Feminine here, and I do tend to, however, say she or her for the Feminine and him, his for the Masculine. But of course, that can be reversed, so take it for how it makes sense for you. All right, so focusing Divine Feminine. What are the messages here when it comes to this connection? We've got karmic cycles that the Feminine is dealing with at this time. All right, so let's take a look and see what else. What is attached to those karmic cycles? We have a wish granted. Okay, and then we've got connect, followed by divine partnership. So there is a connection here that the feminine is definitely still connecting with the masculine. From the feminine standpoint, this masculine represents a wish come true here but perhaps what's keeping you guys apart at this time might have to do with these karmic cycles that need to complete that need to cycle out we have the relax card followed by the meditation card so i do feel here for my feminines resonating with this so far you're not really in freak out mode so to speak you know you're just kind of relaxing and taking it all in, focusing on yourself, focusing on perhaps what the future might have in store for this connection. Even though you guys might be in separation, there's distance here. You're just chilling. You're not really freaking out that you guys are not together. That's what I'm picking up from that. So let's confirm some of these with some tarot messages. This is the Piney Rose Tarot by my dear friend Amy of Calico Moon. So we'll clarify some of these messages here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for the Divine Feminine for this Sagittarius bonus reading. What do we need to know here? What else do we need to know when it comes to the Divine Feminine? Nine of Wands is fire. That's your own energy here, Sagittarius. Persistence, resilience, perseverance, near the end, and boundaries, which is great because it's falling right below karmic cycles here. So whatever this karmic cycle is for the feminines, it is nearing the end of that cycle. Some of my feminines, you could also be coming through as the queen of pentacles. Earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This queen is very nurturing. Domesticated woman, a financial provider. The Queen of Pentacles is a queen that's faithful, serious in love. And I feel for my feminines resonating with this energy, that's how you feel. That's how you feel about this divine partnership with the masculine. You're not messing around. You're not playing around. This is your person. And perhaps when you guys were together, you just have this natural, very nurturing way of how you interacted with your masculine. That very comforting energy from the Queen of Pentacles. And for my Queens, Queen of Pentacles, the most important thing is family. A loving family. It's one of the greatest blessings in her life. Now the interesting thing is we've got the Queen of Swords right next to the Queen of Pentacles. 
an independent woman with good communication, clear boundaries, and unbiased judgment. For some of you, this could certainly reflect off of a same-sex relationship. But for others, this could also be that the masculine had options in love and was considering more than one person for a connection. And then we've got this Ten of Swords that's coming through with air energy here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is a painful ending right here. And I do feel, since we've got a karmic cycle that is nearing the end, that's contributing to this painful energy of that Ten of Swords. Because there's a cycle that needs to end. And no matter how you slice it, it hurts. This is tapped into betrayal. Emotional wounds that the feminine is now carrying with her. But I do feel with the relax and meditation card here, my feminines are really trying to work through this pain, trying to work through these challenges that have affected this connection. It hasn't been an easy journey, but my feminines, you know, again, coming through with this persistent, resilient, persevering energy. You're strong. You're not going to give up. Certainly not giving up on yourself. But when it comes to this connection, my feminines that resonate with this, you're willing to fight for this, I feel. We've got the seven of pentacles. More earth, investment, hard work, paying off, growth. Exactly. So my feminines willing to work hard to make this partnership work. But you know, at the end of the day, it does take two people to put in effort to make a relationship work. But for my feminines, definitely more than willing to put in the effort to do her part in the relationship. The seven of pentacles is a card of just allowing life to unfold, just to kind of wait and see where this is going to go. And I feel for my Divine Feminines, you're okay with that. To wait and see. To not rush into doing anything hasty here. And then we've got the Three of Pentacles, which is great. This is teamwork. Collaboration. Two people that are willing to put in the work. Again, to uh, work on a partnership. To collaborate. Get onto the same page have the same vision. So that's a good energy to be in. Building this relationship together, repairing what's broken, overcoming any obstacles that you guys are dealing with, and whatever this represents, because some of you have dealt with a betrayal here. Very painful ending here. It could have also been a very abrupt ending for some of you. So let's add to this with the Moody Moon Messages deck. This is by my soul sister, Sister Moon Tarot, honoring the cycle of the Divine Feminine. So let's get right into this. Let's see what else needs to come through here. So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius for this bonus reading. Still focusing, of course, on the Divine Feminine and how all of this is affecting her. Let's take a look. What else, please, angels and spirit guides for the feminines here? On edge, get me out of here. That might have something to do with this karmic cycle. Nearing the end, it's like, okay, I'm ready for this cycle to end. Get me out of this cycle. I'm ready to move on to the next phase of my life. I'm ready to heal from this very painful experience. And for those of you who did deal with a betrayal in a relationship, that could be you as well, feminine saying, you know, it's like, get me out of here. I'm not going to be putting up with a relationship where I'm coming in second and dealing with a masculine who ended up hurting you, stabbing you in the back. So I feel for my masculines, 
who have been contributing to this energy of that Ten of Swords, they really ended up hurting the Divine Feminine. Let's see what else. What else? We've got this stuck energy. I don't know how to move on or let go. That's for some of you coming through here. And that's just going to take time. Because again, that I feel has something to do with these cycles that are phasing out. We have insecure. Will I ever be good enough? So when this painful ending happened, this Ten of Swords, it really caused my feminines to get into this very negative headspace. You know, will I ever be good enough for the masculine? Definitely feeling very insecure. Stuck. I don't know how to move on or let go. So some pretty heavy energies from my feminines here. Nostalgic, strolling down memory lane, remembering the good times with the masculine. But for those of you who are in this heavy energy, I do feel you're working through it. You know, you're just trying to go with the flow, just taking things for how they are in whatever phase or stage of this journey you're on. It hasn't been an easy journey, but I do feel you're allowing yourself to just go within and quiet your mind, quiet your heart so that you're not going to be stuck and insecure forever. You know, you're trying to work out the pain in your heart space so that you can heal from this. What else, please? We have bloated, hormonal, moody, and leave me alone. This seems to be coming out a lot in my readings for the bonus readings. So feminines, if you resonate with that, you know, some of you guys do want to just be left alone to just deal with stuff and to allow that healing to continue. Not really wanting to engage or socialize or interact with people right now, you know, even though this card says relax, just the image here for me, it's it's almost like this is me time. This is alone time. This is my time to just relax and chill and just de-stress. Let's grab one more here from the Moody Moon messages. One more, please. We have lost. Should I stay or should I go? So we've got a lot of emotions that the feminines are going through at this time which is understandable you guys have been through this ten of swords energy of course you'd be feeling insecure of course you're feeling lost because you've been probably stabbed in the back some the, the masculine has hurt you so you're probably questioning it's like well if he's entertaining somebody else should i stay or should i go should i put in the effort towards this or should i not but there are those of you i feel that are willing to fight for this you're still standing even after having gone through something so difficult. And maybe it made you stronger than you realized. You know? So let's add to this, Sagittarius, with some Romance Angels. And let's see what else needs to come through here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please. Focusing on Sagittarius, Divine Feminine. For this bonus reading, what else, please, do we need to know at this time when it comes to this connection? We've got finances and career represented here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So my feminine, some of you might be able to resonate with that. And remember, you ended up getting the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is somebody who could certainly be a financial provider and actually be okay financially. And hard work that's rewarded. So if you are going through a bit of a struggle financially, I do feel you will overcome that. 
what else please for the divine feminine we have a wedding that's coming through here so perhaps my feminines you've pictured a long-term commitment and life with your masculine despite where things are right now you still see this as a wish come true you're still connected even if it is just energetically or spiritually at this point and it is coming through that you see this as a divine partnership still now some of you could have certainly been married to the masculine that's another interpretation or the masculine entered into a third party situation with somebody who was married okay so that's another interpretation there what else please we've got passion passionate connection between the feminine and masculine what else please we have trust the situation's calling for you to have faith divine feminines and a trust could have certainly been a problem there could have been some trust issues going on here in the relationship the angels are wanting you to work on yourself right now to love you first love yourself give back to yourself at this time Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Last message. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, Divine Feminines. And of course, it takes two for that to happen. You know, you can desire this all you want. But if you've got a masculine here who's not willing to put in the same effort or who isn't willing to work on the partnership, then that creates a bit of a stalemate. That creates a more difficult scenario but it is coming through here that the angels are wanting you to work on the partnership here all right so let's add some dialogue to this sagittarius this is my self-created deck it's called the woman's intuition oracle so we'll grab some dialogue from here whatever it is that the feminine needs to say to the masculine let's take a look and as always, whichever ones you're most guided towards when it comes to these messages. Oh, geez. Cupid's fucking arrow missed. Yeah, that's why we have a painful ending. That's why we have a betrayal. Somebody who was stabbed in the back. That could certainly have something to do with that karmic cycle that needs to come to an end. So obviously we've got two scenarios that have the potential of coming through here those of you who have detached from this masculine who stabbed you in the back and those of you that of course still experience that but are still willing to work on the partnership because you still love this masculine you're still connecting with this masculine even if it is from a distance trust is broken trust needs to be restored But I do feel some of you are really upset with the masculine because of what's happened here. Betrayal, backstabbing, lies, deceit, painful ending. It's, it's not an easy energy to go through in a relationship. And my feminine's resonating with this, especially you've gone through hell and back when it comes to this. Look at this next message. Karma will bite your ass so hard, there won't be any of your ass left to bite <laughs> i have a pissed off feminine here okay so if this is you watching this for a feminine she's not happy not happy all right so let's see what else because i do truly feel that there are some feminines who want to work this out who are willing to collaborate and work as a team with the masculine here it happened one night maybe that's all we were meant to have so that to me could certainly be a card of one night stands third party situations infidelity which obviously for some of you that may have been the case wow 
all of these messages, we crossed the line, we broke the rules. Now karma's after us, but your ass was totally worth it. So boundaries were crossed here, lines were crossed, betrayals, cheating, infidelity. Damn, it's heavy stuff. Let's grab a few more. Let's grab a few more, Sagittarius. It depends, of course, on what side of the fence you're on here, Sagittarius. Either you're a masculine and you were a victim of a third party situation, or you're the feminine who was also a victim of a third party situation. That's what's presenting itself here, that karma, it's time to pay karma. Karma's gonna bite someone in the ass for what's happened. Only you can mend my broken heart. See, there are some of you who still feel that there's this one masculine. Who is it for you? That one person that represents that divine partnership, your wish come true. And that's the only person that can ultimately heal your heart, despite what's happened. All right, one last one. You can run, you can roam, but only I will feel like home. So for some of my feminines, this is what you're saying to your masculine. It's like, look, you can go out there and explore other relationships, third party situations, etc., etc. whatever it is that you want to do outside of our home. But, you know, only the feminine will represent the ideal home for this masculine, whether he ever comes home or not whether he realizes that or not, this is my feminine coming through with that statement. It's like, look, you're not going to be finding anything better than what we had together because I'm it. Dang, feminine, some pretty heavy stuff, okay? So that's how the connection is affecting you at this time. So if you did resonate with that, I know you're dealing with some pretty heavy things right now energetically painful ending betrayals backstabbing i mean that's a lot of very difficult energies to deal with it's not easy okay so let's take a look at the divine masculine now this could either pick up off of where the divine feminine reading left off or it could be a totally different storyline let's take a look all right so for those of you who are watching for the divine masculine here we are. This is the, I forgot to mention, the Divine Masculine Energy Oracle Cards deck by Flames of Alchemy. And the Divine Feminine card is also by Flames of Alchemy. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Sagittarius. For this bonus reading. Focused on the Divine Masculine. How is the masculine affected or feels about this connection with the feminine? Okay, well, we've got career coming through here. So my masculines, you might be quite focused on money matters, finances, your career, your job at this time. We've got contract, you know, at work, signing contracts. That's where my masculines are focused right now. Interesting. We have boredom coming through as well, followed by masculine shadow, admired, friendship. These are some interesting cards coming through from my masculine here. Freedom. This is somebody who doesn't want to settle down, somebody who just wants to not be attached right now. They want their freedom. I have a confused masculine also, and just wanting to take off. You know, very similar energy to this freedom card. Somebody who just wants to explore, who doesn't want to be tied down, you know, possibly not wanting to commit, and if things are getting too serious, 
this masculine more than likely just wants to take off. Just wanting friendship at this time. Certainly having a lot of admiration, however, for the feminine. But this masculine is not in any position, I feel, at this point in time to offer the feminine anything solid or sound. Nothing solid is what I'm picking up here. And part of the reason why that is, is because they can't make up their mind. They're still confused as to what it is that they want right now. So let's add to this once again with some tarot messages. This is the palette deck by Sal Biadora of Eat, Read, Love. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius for this bonus reading. Focused on the divine masculine here. What else do we need to know, please? When it comes to this connection with the feminine, what's up with the divine masculine here? And I also see that masculine shadow, so that tells me that my masculines definitely have some shadow work that needs to be done. There's healing that needs to happen here. So we have the Nine of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. This is wish fulfillment right here. Satisfaction, emotional stability, luxury. But what I'm picking up here is, especially when it comes to finances and money matters, I do feel my masculines might be a little bit tight with their money, not really wanting to share those luxuries with the feminine. Could also be drinking a little bit too much. Offering himself comfort and satisfaction. We've got the Four of Wands, which is your own energy here, Sagittarius. So if you're dealing with a masculine who's not wanting to share their cups of love or these cups that are presented here, it could ultimately represent a missed opportunity. If what they're wanting is just friendship, but what you're offering is the real deal, the kind of love that's a once in a lifetime kind of love. If they are in the shadows, they're not even able to recognize what it is that you're offering, the love that you are giving them. They're not even recognizing that. All they're focused on is that they're bored with their life, you know, they're busy with work, but when it comes to their personal life, there's just not a whole lot going on there. And when things do tend to present itself by way of love and romance, this particular masculine just wants to run and take off. He's enjoying his freedom a little bit too much. We've got the three of cups here, which could certainly represent third party situations. And that did present itself from the divine feminine reading Cups is water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you guys, which already presented itself from the Nine of Cups also. The interesting thing with the Three of Cups is it is about friendship. Friendship and community and the friendship card is right here. So I feel that that's all this masculine is willing to maybe offer at this point in time. The interesting thing is we've got the Knight of Cups right after that. And this Knight is very romantic. This Knight follows his heart. He can also be an idealist. But as you can see, he's it's falling right below the masculine shadow. This could be what's beneath the surface of this masculine, that he has the capability of being very romantic, a very loving partner. But if he's in the shadows, then he's got a lot of work to do to bring this to the surface. And if what he's wanting is just friendship, more than likely he's entertaining other people, third party situations here.
we have the nine of coins, which is pentacles, earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is somebody, this is a masculine who has everything that they could ever want financially. They might be really well off. You know, they've got everything that they could possibly want except love. This masculine could also be spending recklessly, spending money that he hasn't even earned yet. And then we've got the energy of the page of coins. Pages are known for delivering messages. This is a particular page that's tapped into desire, ambition, career, desires with more than one person, I feel. This is a page that focuses on the good and the bad parts of love. And maybe they've been burnt in the past, you know, having found love, yet the past is still haunting this person to where it's still affecting how they interact with people, which might be contributing to this masculine shadow. And here we are with the Ten of Swords. Wow. So that came forward as well for the feminines. For those of you who did watch the Divine Feminine portion, two cards. Ten of Swords. So there was a very painful ending in this relationship as a result of betrayals and emotional wounding. And this masculine is in the shadow because that emotional wounding needs healing and it has not been healed. It hasn't been healed. So let's add to this. This is the Masculine's Madness deck by Bridget Rao of Divine Essentials. Angels and spirit guides, please, focusing on Sagittarius. For this bonus reading, what else do we need to know when it comes to the Divine Masculine here? What else? Painful ending. That much we do know. I am worried about my legacy status. He's all about his status right now. What else, please, for this masculine, for the divine masculine? Thank you for showing me what true love is, unconditional. And I do feel this masculine has experienced this beautiful kind of love. It's just that he's running away from it. He's felt it, but he's throwing it away, basically. We have tortured, which is interesting. My mind is torturing me with reminders of you everywhere I go. You know, take off and freedom. So he's out there exploring other options, other relationships, but he keeps being reminded of this amazing connection that he had with the divine feminine. And we do have some masculines that do miss the divine feminine, but because of what happened with this 10 of swords, my masculines are just getting this cold shoulder from the feminine. And I mean, based off of the dialogue that came forward from some of my feminines, that's understandable. Totally understandable. We have studying, exploring every inch of you, body, mind, and soul. I mean, the sexual connection might certainly still be something that this masculine is remembering and still very attracted to the feminine. And then last one, there's so much anger inside me, hostile. And that's what's keeping this masculine in the shadows. Truly. It's, it's a problem. And only the masculine can get himself out of that shadow. All right, so let's add to this with the Romantic Confessions deck from the Divine Masculine. This is another deck by my soul sister, Sister Moon Tarot. 
So we'll grab some messages from here. And let's take a look and see what this masculine wants to say to the feminine. All right, masculine, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? I just got scared. Afraid of commitment? Afraid of being tied down? Afraid to face his demons? Afraid to get out of the shadows? I always admired your beauty. I mean, no doubt about that. The masculine definitely attracted to the feminine. What else, please, angels and spirit guides? I secretly hope to run into you whenever I'm out and about. So this masculine wanting to run into the feminine despite everything that's happened here. Next message. I want to talk to you, but I can't find the right words to say. So wanting to have that conversation, but just not knowing what to say for now. I still remember the way you look that day in your sundress. For those of you that resonate with that and this could have been a connection that happened during the summertime or that's the last time you guys saw each other next one i regret not choosing you so i have a masculine here who you know who definitely has some regrets last one I lied to you when I told you I didn't care. So maybe some of my feminines, you really needed to hear that, that this masculine actually cared for you despite this very painful ending between the two of you. That is presenting itself here. All right, guys, so let's add to this with some additional dialogue. This is my self-created deck. This is the Thinking Man Oracle. So we'll grab some messages from here. And let's see what else this masculine has to say to the feminine. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius for this bonus reading. What else do you need to say, masculines, to your feminine? Oh my gosh, don't go. It's like, I know I messed up. I know I've got work to do on myself, but don't go. Which is so contradictory considering my masculines are actually going. They want their freedom. They want to take off. Yet they're wanting this feminine, perhaps, to stick around. This is interesting. I do forever. So some of you guys might have even talked about marriage, which again is so contradictory when it comes to what's happening here based off of the messages that are presenting itself. Next message, hell hath no fury like a man scorned either. So what I'm picking up from this is, because remember we've got this angry, hostile energy from this masculine he's been through a painful ending himself so he's been hurt in the past and that's what's keeping him in the shadows if he wasn't able to heal that that's why he's in that shadow and he needs to do that shadow work to get himself out now look at this next message i've been fighting the need to do my shadow work since you said goodbye you were my light i'm tired of living in the dark so hopefully this masculine will be able to do that work to get out of that darkness and head towards the light where this masculine can reunite with the feminine. Okay, so let's add to this with some romance angels. Angels and spirit guides, please focusing on Sagittarius for this bonus reading. 
for the divine masculine what else is this a relationship that can be salvaged or is it a done deal some of you might actually have children together so your love life is being affected by children this could also be um blended families and sometimes my interpretation of this is somebody who's just acting really immature but clearly there are red flags here that need to be addressed the signs are cautioning you at this time sagittarius when it comes to the divine masculine i apologize for that noise i believe it's trash day sorry about that but look at this this could actually be a true love connection this might be the romance of the lifetime for this masculine but if he's in the shadows if he's failing to recognize this that's why we've got that four of wands he's missing out on this happiness this happy life it's like a missed opportunity from missing out on all this happiness and harmony in his life even a happy marriage being able to build this amazing life with the feminine he's missing out on all this if he's wanting to just take off and free himself from this connection because of third parties betrayals stabbing the feminine in the back however way that's presented itself but i also feel that some of my masculines have been stabbed in the back themselves and they've been hurt so then they go on to hurt other people so at this time there is this need to free yourself when it comes to the masculines it's time to take back control of your life and this could certainly apply to my masculines too it's like free yourself from the past free yourself from all of the darkness and the negative energy that you're still holding on to free yourself from the pain free yourself from all of the negative energies that's preventing movement in your life so that's what i'm getting guys when it comes to this divine masculine so there's a lot of painful energy between the feminine and the masculine Clear, clearly there's a lot of healing that needs to happen here that's just the reality of it and hopefully in time you guys can collaborate and work together to rebuild this partnership but my masculine is going to have to stop wanting to run stop running away from commitment stop running away from love stop running away from happiness okay last message from the journey of love deck this is by bridget rao of divine essentials so this is combining the divine feminine and divine masculine so let's go ahead and see what messages need to come through here to close out this reading angels and spirit guides please for sagittarius for this bonus reading second half of june i can't wait to dance with you into eternity union number four so there's still a chance here guys that despite where you guys are at on this journey of love that with healing and shadow work you can both work through this still and come back together next message is speechless I can't find the right words for now number 34 might also be a significant number for some of you some of you might be keeping tabs on each other from a distance and if the feminine or the masculine if you guys with are with other people then there is this energy of jealousy So we've got 34 and 43 back to back which breaks down to seven and seven so we've got two sevens here and sevens in tarot can represent having faith that if it's meant to be it will be we have ready to follow you anywhere number 32 surrender so i feel my masculines are not ready not right now but in time perhaps He'll be able to surrender all of the pain and hurt he's experienced in the past 
and be ready and willing to build a life with the feminine moving forward. He has to let things go that are no longer serving a purpose in his life. Reminded of you constantly. I believe that came through earlier, right? Reminded of you constantly, number 37, which is a 10, synchronicity. So just like what came through from the feminines, you can run, you can hide. What was that message? You can run, you can roam, but only I will feel like home. You know, and again, my masculines are in takeoff mode, but still they're receiving signs tapped into the connection. Last one. And then we've got denial, number 36. I keep telling myself it's not over. And maybe for some of you, it isn't. That there's a chance to work through this. Bottom of the deck, number 13. I wish. Fresh start. There's a potential, guys, that there's a wish here that can still come true. Because remember, we, we did get that card that came through. That wish fulfillment. There's a chance here that this wish to come back together can still happen. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. I do hope whatever part of it resonated with you, made sense for you, whatever part you watched, whether the feminine or masculine or all of it, and if you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. And that's it for now, guys. I'll see you real soon. Take care.